Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Critics Hub. Today, we're going to deep dive into huh? Momosuke Gundam The Witch from Mercury Season 2, Episode 1. Thank you so much. So sit back, relax, and hit subscribe. And... Could you also like and share this video? Salamat. Well, it's now official. Uh, the Witch from Mercury is back. So, let's get to the nitty-gritty of the Season 2 pilot. Face! Ano pa nga ba? Alright? From the get-go, then some pacing. Then, it slowed down a little bit kasi medyo naging slice of life-ish. Then, once the, um... Once the fake student's uh, identities got exposed by Nika, it got really tense. Do I have complaints? Nah. This is actually the type of pacing you would see from, of course, a Gundam series and, believe it or not, a Yu-Gi-Oh! series. It reminded me of the pacing that Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal had. See, well, Laglaga na Tridura din na nandun eh. So, it completely set me back to that uh, to that particular anime. Quite reminiscent. So, no complaints. Flow naman. First gear shift was when Martin confronted Nika. Say, well, being the head of Earth House, it's his obligation to know everything. Kaya naman sabihin Nika. Oh, no brain of a gear shift there, folks. Dahil... You could actually feel in this gearship that Nika is now close to uh, exposing the two fake, the two, uh, the two fake students. They, um, uh, their, their academy just acquired uh, a little over probably a month now. Medyo, medyo, medyo tense ang dating ng gearship eh. That's why I, I just have to call it the gearship, guys. Talagang tense ang dating eh. Alright? Final gearship. Opo, dalawa lang. Was when, uh, was when, well, was during the post-credit scene where Prospera asked Murin a favor. We all know who Prospera is. Eh? Yung nani ni Suleta. Another no-brainer, folks. Dahil, well, it perfectly sets us up for, if not the next episode, probably for uh, the next episode after that. Right? Para hindi, kasi, um, Hindi dapat lumayo ng, ng uh, so many episodes eh kung nag, nag ganitong gearship ka in one episode. So, I'm totally expecting uh, the repercussions of this one to happen in either the next episode or the next one after that. So, these two gearships that I saw, guys, bitin. Come on, guys. Don't you miss Soleta? We, we missed her an entire anime season. So, despite her quirkiness, she has the violent tendencies of a Gundam pilot. You would be a dumbass if you do not watch this pilot from start to finish. Kasi, eto na naman tayo. May crisis na naman kinakaharap ang bida. But wise. Um. So, may mga flashback sequences, pero totally... To totally ignore them because they were there were scenes because they were scenes from uh, from season one particularly the finale of season one therefore malinis ang plot guys totally clean plot <clears throat> remember uh, we're dealing with a Gundam series here it would be unwise for Sunrise to, to lengthen a backstory sequence here. Because, yep, palibabong ano ni, palibabong, palibabong arc na practically. You just want to uh, give the audience several flashbacks from last season. Especially yung mga hindi nakapanood. Right? So yeah, totally clean plot. Uh, I gotta hand it. I gotta hand it to Sunrise. Okay? Talagang inaalagaan nila ang franchise ito. Well, it's their it's their biggest cash cow right now. All right, Gundam. So face flow and plot. 
I almost didn't tell the um the flow from the pacing <laughs> because the pacing really took me uh, took me through the storyline. Eh? I almost lost track of which scenes to be deemed as gear shifts. Talaga maganda pacing ng episode nato. So, Mobile Suit Gundam: The Witch from Mercury, season two, episode one. Si Bakwe. Two thumbs up! Last order of business, the thumbnail. This is the scene where things got really interesting and it's also another setup for, for the, definitely for the next episode. Kasi dito talaga hinamon ni Suleta yung isang fake student na labanan siya sa isang duelo. Right, imagine the holder herself is issuing the challenge. Dahil sa, dahil sa pagmamahal niya sa kaibigan niyang to. Right? This is how bold Soleta is now. Now, if you've seen the episode already, she, she, sub, she subject herself to five straight duels in one day. Ang tawag doon, serial battle. And wow, she won them all. Convincingly, actually. And now, she's up against... Um, up against the Farak, ano, the Farak this time. Pero mukhang iba ang piloto eh. Hindi si, hindi si Elan. Which, which would be, uh, which would be, which would be quite interesting to watch in the next episode. So, we're gonna keep tabs on season two of The Witch for Mercury. Definitely, folks. Because, uh, I'm a casual Gundam fan. And, why shouldn't we? Because we, reviewed season 1 last winter so while we're uh, while we're waiting for it for you guys watch the other reviews on this playlist and yeah tutok pa more tayo when it comes to the wish for mercury okay habang pinapanood niyo yan